U.S. Navy conducts operation near Lakshadweep without India's consent. In an unprecedented move, the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet has publicly challenged India's maritime claim in the Arabian Sea by sending the USS John Paul Jones, DDG-53 guided missile destroyer, inside India's exclusive economic zone. Referring to its act as consistent with international law, the U.S. Navy says that its destroyer asserted navigational rights and freedoms approximately 130 nautical miles west of the Lakshadweep Islands without requesting India's prior consent. The statement further underlined that such freedom of navigation operations will continue in the future as well. Funops are not about one country, nor are they about making political statements, it added. It is worth mentioning that India and China have passed domestic laws to back their views on the permissibility of foreign navies conducting military activities in their exclusive economic zone. In 1976, India passed the Maritime Zones Act, which formally required all foreign warships to give prior notification when passing through the territorial waters of India, even while making an innocent passage. In 2019, in a similar freedom of navigation move, the Indian Navy had chased away a Chinese research vessel near the Andaman Sea. The Indian Navy has yet to react to the U.S. Navy's FNOPs. After the first leadership-level Quad members meet in March, the group committed to promoting a free, open rules-based order, rooted in international law to advance security and prosperity and counter threats to both in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. We support the rule of law, freedom of navigation and overflight, peaceful resolution of disputes, democratic values, and territorial integrity, the joint statement reads. Several analysts predicted the beginning of a military alliance of these countries after the first leaders level meet. Earlier this week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov stated that he also heard that pro-military alliances are being promoted in the Middle East and Asia. We believe that this, military alliance, is counterproductive, Lavrov had said.